I think Kyrie ultimately will end up coming to his senses and get back um, on the basketball court. Um, he obviously is a smart dude, but you can be so smart that you end up doing dumb things uh, because you just think that you're so much more brilliant than the rest. Yeah. And I definitely think that that's the situation with Kyrie Irving right now. Uh, what he is doing, um, once again, he is a distraction, and I don't give a damn what anybody says. It's inexcusable. The reality is, is that there's a whole bunch of people out here that are suspicious and skeptical about being vaccinated, but we did it. Why? Because not only um, is it something that's been mandated for the most part by a lot of employers in this country, but also it appears to be the right thing to do because of the potential to contaminate other people. Um, and obviously, we're dealing with a pandemic. We haven't had to deal with this in our lifetime. The last one that existed was a century ago. We get all of that. Kyrie doesn't appear to care. And in the end, everybody's thinking about him. I'm going to tell you right now, I think that's the wrong thing to do. The focus of all of this needs to be shifted to one Mr. Kevin Durant. He is the face of the Brooklyn Nets franchise. He is the best player on the planet, as far as I'm concerned, at this particular moment in time. What he wants is what he gets from the Brooklyn Nets. And if it were not for KD, I believe the Brooklyn Nets would be on the phone trying to trade Kyrie. Now, they would have a tough time moving him because Kyrie has given the impressions that he would retire before he accepted a trade. A matter of fact, I think somebody quoted him as saying as such. Obviously, that's not something that he wants to deal with. He doesn't want to deal with a trade. He chose Brooklyn. He got KD to pick Brooklyn, okay? So you got teams that know that he would be reluctant to play ball. As a basketball player, there isn't a team on the planet that wouldn't want him because he's a, just a spectacular player. But off the basketball court, he is considered a head case. He is considered a bit loose and a bit bizarre, okay? And he's got people in this camp like his dad and others, and I can bring them up because they feel the need to speak up for him from time to time, who are doing nothing but serving the role as enablers at this particular moment in time. And as a result, it's going to come down to KD because here is why. <clears throat> Kevin Durant is a baller. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is this is a brother that showed up to nightclubs with high tops on. This brother is, he thinks about nothing but hooping. Nothing but hooping. He don't care about nothing but hooping, okay? That's what KD is. And James Harden is that way too. They are hoopers. Kyrie Irving not playing ball with them is a problem. It is up to KD to step in and step up and say, yo, bro, I'm with you. I got your back. I support you 1,000% so long as you're on this court with me. <laughs> but if you're not going to be on this court with me, you're going to come up against everything we planned. Nobody planned on a pandemic. Nobody saw that coming. But these are our circumstances and our situations. Clearly, Kevin Durant is vaccinated because he wouldn't be allowed to play in practice if he were not. So, James Harden, same situation. This one man that hasn't shown up, and that's Kyrie Irving. And by the way, I hear that he's been in fantastic shape. He came in ready to ball. He looks great. He's been balling throughout the offseason. He's ready to go, so nobody's questioning his love for the game. They just know that that's not the only thing he loves, and he's a bit distracted. It's going to be up to Kevin Durant to either reel him in or give the Brooklyn Nets the okay to move on from him. That is officially where the focus should lie, Kendrick. And Marcus, because the bottom line is you certainly can't just rely on Kyrie because Kyrie, because of all the important things that are on his mind outside of what he gets paid to do and get paid $35 million this season to do it, okay? This dude's got other things on his mind, and a lot of people say, hey, we know how spectacular he is, but we can't trust where his head is right now. This is what the situation is, Kendrick Perkins. You, you know what? Listening to Steve Nash talk in that interview, he looked frustrated. And I would be frustrated as well because, listen, the Brooklyn Nets actually was thinking and considering about changing their practice location to accommodate Kyrie Irving. And Steve Nash was basically said, basically said, no, we're not doing that. It's not fair to the other 14 guys in the locker room. That's one thing. Now, look. Here's the problem, the main problem that I have with Kyrie Irving. You know, Kevin Durant, this is supposed to be your homie. This is supposed to be your partner. Right. Kevin Durant goes to war and have Kyrie back, whether Kyrie is right or wrong, all the time he supports Kyrie 
and tell Kyrie and tells us, hey, that's Kyrie's decision or he's a man. Kyrie is gonna be all right. Kyle, Kevin Durant had, had has had his back a hundred percent. And now Kyrie is messing up the whole game plan for the Brooklyn Nets. Because the whole plan was is was to all for all three of them to be signed under contract extensions going into this season. Kevin Durant has signed his contract extension. Kyrie Irving was supposed to be next. But now Kyrie Irving, since he don't want to get vaccinated and he still need to do his research, he's holding up the whole process because James Harden was then supposed to sign right after him. But now what do we hear James Harden saying? We hear James Harden saying, hey, I never experienced free agency. I might want to do it for the first time. Now, look. Granted, he still has time. He still has a deadline, James Harden do, to sign the contract extension. But if he don't, then I feel like KD needs to make a decision. Hey, look, Kyrie, look, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because exactly. I have this brother in James Harden, who's also a hell of a basketball player, who also that I could, I could possibly lose in free agency because James Harden might be sitting back saying, let me evaluate this situation. Let me evaluate and see what's going on with Kyrie and how they're going to handle him or if KD is going to actually step up. Like you said, Stephen, and say, hey, bro, look, I didn't had your back long enough. You didn't told us as an organization, you didn't told us that you were going to get vaccinated and you didn't miss your appointment. You didn't miss your appointment. You had an appointment set up and you missed it. So what are you going to do, bro? Like, what are you going to do? And I think at some point in time, Kyrie is going to rub KD the wrong way. And KD is going to get frustrated. And yep. KD is going to push him and make and make him make a decision. But ultimately, this comes down to what does Kevin Durant want? He yep. want to continue to be friends with Kyrie Irving, hold him accountable, Oh, he going to say, you know what? I got James Harden, this other killer on the side of me. Kyrie, if you don't want right. to get down with the program, we move forward. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.